Oh, God. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna build Lego power tools, and then I'm gonna try and build something with them to see if it's actually possible. First, we need to build up some basic tools to get started. So I'm thinking we build a wrench, a hammer, a saw, and even like a tool belt. Also, this video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on them later. All right, so here we have our tool belt. As you can see, everything is accessible. It's actually pretty legit. We got our hammer, and then we got our saw if we need to use that. It, it comes out. We got little Technic pieces so they can snap on and come off. But the wood we're actually gonna use for this project is balsa wood. And the reason we're gonna use balsa wood is because it's really soft and thin. We're going to build three power tools in this video, and the first one is going to be a Lego table saw, because we need to cut this wood down to size. And we're gonna build a mystery build, which you'll see at the end of the video. So the first thing we need to do to build a table saw is figure out what we're gonna use as the blade. I was thinking we could use a gear, because it can spin super fast, and it has a bunch of teeth, which I think could cut through our pieces pretty good. However, it won't cut through these, so I don't know. So the plan to build this thing is to build a super motor using four regular motors and two battery boxes. We're gonna take four motors and we're gonna put them around a central axle so that way the power from all four of them will be translated into a single motor. Sounds pretty loud, which means more power, obviously. More loudness equals more power. Get some gears. First, we will attach these together. A couple Technic pins. Connect those into there, and then theoretically, if we do that, that, this piece should fit right in the middle there. The motor should spin that. Look at that. Look how powerful it is. It's flying. That is actually really strong. Okay, so now what if, put it on this side, and then we just add more motors here. Let's see if this works. Now, that's really strong. Okay, and now what we can do is we can just take this gear here, or the output of this thing, and we can attach it to this. Now we have our table saw right here. And this isn't sharp, so I can touch it. Will this actually cut? Me thinks it'll work. Okay, so the next step is to make this not dangerous, which means we need to hook these up to a switch. For the switch, we're just going to use two of these. Lego switches, which I literally hate, but it's all they make, so. Connect these two together like that. Okay, so now when we flick the switch, it turns on, and we'll put a little stop right there so it'll turn off. Now what we gotta do is build this into a base with a flat top, so we can slide the boards across it and make sure this part here is protruding. To connect this to the base, what I'm actually gonna do, put on a bunch of these things, and then I can connect it to the edges, and now that locks into our base plate and holds it up. So I'm just doing that all over this to make it really strong. Okay, and make this thing actually useful, I'm just gonna take this and mark the little inches on this white thing. And that'll add actual use to it. And now it's complete. As you can see, that's where the blade matches up right there. And this thing is done. So now this thing's actually done, we can turn it on using these switches, and we're ready to cut some lumber. Now, the danger here isn't really cutting your finger, it's sucking your finger in. So we're just gonna keep our fingers clear. Don't do this at home. We need to cut two of these down to 12 inches so we can use our little measurer here. All right, now let's hope this actually works. <laughs> I think there's a problem. So you see that? I can hold this and it bends the axle, which is not what we want. So, look how destroyed this axle is. No wonder it's not working. We just need to put a metal axle in there. Let's just replace it with this here. Working. Oh, we hit a knot. And there we go. Dude. Okay, so it works. It's just slow and really inefficient, and but it works though. So now we just need to cut one more of those. And there we go. We have two pieces, and these are the pieces we need for our mystery build. Now we also need to cut these two pieces in half, and I'm not sure if it'll work for that, but I'll try. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so now we have all our wood pieces cut. And as you can see, there's a lot of burrs and it just, it needs to be sanded. So the next power tool we're gonna build is an automatic sander. I think it'd be pretty easy. 
So this is an orbital sander. Basically what it does is you can take a piece of sandpaper, put it in here, and once you turn it on, this thing will vibrate, basically going in little circles, and do all the sanding work for you. Unfortunately, I don't have an orbital sander, so we're gonna build one out of Lego. <laughs> for this, we're going to use two battery boxes and four motors. And each motor is gonna control a little vibrating mechanism that'll basically spin. These battery boxes fit in with the bricks better, so I'm gonna use these. And then for the mechanism that actually vibrates, what we're gonna do, connect this to a gear, and I think these little eight tooth gears are perfect because they have these little holes. So what we wanna do is to connect this to a gear like that, and then to the top of the gear, we'll attach a pin into one of the holes like this. So if we have this like this, see how that kind of goes in an orbital pattern and vibrates? That's exactly what an orbital sander does, just like super duper fast. So if we have one motor on each corner of this box, we put a piece of sandpaper on top of it. First, we gotta make it spin a little faster. Essentially what we're gonna do is just have the large gear on top and the smaller gear on the bottom will attach to this. So now, look how much faster that spins. That's awesome. Now we can just get that going four times. We'll attach two of these to this. So we'll go bang, bang, and these ones go on here. Bam. Okay, so now that's square, which means we can add something to these that'll just lock together. You gotta make sure to use frictionless pins here. And then we can go bam, bam. We just wanna make sure that each one of these is connected to the same side of these gears here. And that'll really make it so that it doesn't break when we turn it on and they won't stretch apart. All right, let's see if this works. Hold on, hold on. Let's put these bushings on. That's literally it, guys. That's an orbital sander right there. Look at, that's gonna do great, dude. All we gotta do is attach the sandpaper to the bottom there using some sort of clip thing, and then build these. Wait, will these fit right in here? They just might. All right, so now that we got the mechanism complete for this, all we gotta do is fill it out, basically make it look like an orbital sander. And I'm gonna go with blue for a color scheme because I like blue. To do most of the filling out, I'm just gonna add these Technic pieces which have a stud on the end. So let's build this up and make it look nice. All right, so here it is. This is the sander. As you can see, it works. <laughs> so it has these two switches on the side which activate the battery box. You have to push them at the same time. And there you go, you're ready to sand. You take your sandpaper and this thing, you wrap it around this little Technic piece here, which is the perfect size, by the way. The Technic pins just snap this into here like this. Check it out. And there you go. So before we build our next tool to actually assemble this, the next step is to sand all these pieces smooth. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you about this video sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is an all-in-one commerce platform. And by all-in-one, I mean Shopify is a virtual storefront, product manager, analytics viewer, in-person sales tool, social media platform integration, and a great way to sell products that you're proud of. As someone who's used Shopify to sell Lego crash dummies, I can tell you it ran super smoothly. So here's three reasons why I recommend Shopify. Number one, they have a bunch of useful tools integrated into their platform to help you run your business like a pro. Like my new favorite tool, the business name generator. Generate. Brick Science Evolution. Why does that sound like a show that I would make in the future? Brick Science Advance, Six Pack Brick Science. <laughs> You know that one. Not only can you sell your products online with Shopify, but you can also sell in person with the Shopify POS app, literally making your selling efforts unstoppable. You know, this thing's not actually working too bad. <laughs> things run out of battery though. And three, they're empowering more entrepreneurs than anyone else in the world, with millions of businesses using Shopify in over 175 different countries. And they're all turning their selling aspirations into reality with Shopify. So what are you waiting on? For a free trial of Shopify, go to shopify.com slash brick science or click the link in the description. You just thank Shopify for sponsoring this video and making this project possible. Now check out these parts, they're so smooth. The next step in our mystery build is to screw all this together, which means we need to build a Lego power drill. And I'm really confident this is gonna work because I figured something out that's pretty cool. So my plan is to use these, which are clutch gears. I don't really know the specific term, but the reason I like these is because you can actually put a drill bit directly inside them, because it's like the perfect fit. Check it out. And then you can take this and put it on like our screwdriver. Admittedly, the system isn't perfect, but it does work to screw things in. So all we gotta do is attach this to a motor and that will be at the end of our drill. And we can have several ones that we can just snap on in the end of the motor. So that's the plan. Okay, so we need to turn this into a drill, which means we need a switch for the trigger. That will go in the battery box. So now we have an extension. This controls our motor here. So let's build up a quick Technic frame to kind of get all the parts in the right positions because this is a drill. All right, now we got the trigger attached for the most part. Put this behind the trigger. That'll work way better, I'm guessing. 
Okay, so to attach the battery box, we have the frame built up here, as you can see. To attach this, we're gonna put it right there. So my thought is, if we just grab two of these, put in a few Technic pins. These are great because they're like lift arms, but they have holes on both sides. So we put one here, and we put one on the other side. It's genius, guys. We'll grab our drawer of these, which are like half pins, and they also have zero friction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these on our battery box, which means we're actually going to get half the connection so that we can take the battery box off easier. And now, all we have to do, put that on there. And there we go. And we can take this off really easy and all the attachment points stay on the battery box. So we can swap it out once it runs out of battery. That is so sick, oh my gosh. Now all we gotta do is make this look like a drill. This is usually the most time consuming part, but I think it's totally gonna be worth it. Okay, so I've got it built up a little bit more now. Actually, a lot more. As you can see, I got this piece on the bottom using an illegal technique. If the trigger works, I'm building out the handle to make it actually comfortable. We're very close. All right guys, so here it is, our Lego power drill. As you can see, it doesn't do much unless you switch the battery on, and then it does. Put in your bits. This is like the coolest system ever, by the way. It's super sturdy except for that part. So now using all the Lego power tools we have, we can finally assemble our mystery build. Have you guys guessed what we're building yet? I bet you haven't. Okay, so first up, we're gonna screw these together just like this. So the first thing I wanna do is pre-drill some holes through these. Lock and load that in there. Dude, that actually worked. Well, that didn't go as far as we wanted it to. However, I forgot this was made of Lego for a second. It was working so well. Uh, this thing stripped, so we gotta replace that. Hey, <laughs> we gotta attach after a little bit of trial and error. I'm actually surprised it worked as well as it did. Now we gotta attach this one right here. This motor is actually pretty strong for what it is. It's just a large motor. I thought I'd have to gear it down, but actually it's working pretty good. Just Can I just say that we made this with Lego power tools? Basically now I'm just gonna keep screwing stuff together and then we'll have our final product. It's so beautiful. All right, everyone, the grand reveal in three. Two, one, bah! It's a chair. Like, look at it, we built it. And I gotta say, this is probably the most sturdy thing I've ever built. We were limited to soft wood and Lego power tools. So to answer the question, do Lego power tools actually work? They totally do. <laughs> Huge thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, check out one of these two videos popping up on your screen right now, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See ya.